Hello, I'm Susan Chick. Um, I'm the church warden and lay pastor and assistant at St Anselm's Church in Hayes. We share our premises with um, Hayes FM. Today is the 80th patronal festival of St Anselm and it's also the 900th anniversary of the death of St Anselm. So th this evening, Susan, was the ceremony to celebrate the patronal. So Yes, the dedication of this church in 1929. 80 years service 80 to the local years, community. Yes. Okay. St Anselm's connection with this parish was what? The fact that um, Anselm used to spend a lot of time in Hayes. And as a result of that, he, be he became the natural selection for the, for the saints to dedicate saint, this yes, church to. Okay. Yes. Just tell me about the church at the moment. Is it thriving? Yes, it's in. We have a. Um, congregation are often, um, we have a core congregation, but many of the people are transient, and so our numbers vary from month to month, really. But um, it's quite interesting, we have the link with um, Hayes FM, which I don't think many churches can boast. <laughs> you've opened up the church to the wider community. You've, yes. You've allowed Hayes FM to be based within the church building itself to broadcast on the air. We actually are very keen to um, offer the church building for various uses. It has been over um, many years, but at the moment we're, um, we were hampered a little by poor lighting, but we're working on a new scheme to improve the lighting, which will cost around 40000 Wow. Wow. Um, we've so far raised... Um, 13,000, so we're getting there, but um, that will make a, a big difference and hopefully it will encourage a lot more people to use the premises. So if people want to, obviously the church is used as a place of worship, but you're encouraging more community groups to use the church for performances and meetings, that yes, sort of thing? Yes, definitely. Um, Hillingdon Interfaith Network have met here. Um, we have had concerts by the Hillingdon Schools Youth Orchestra. Um, the Twyford Singers have um, held a concert here. But, and so it would be a good use for the building because at the, at the moment it's only used um, on a regular basis three times a week. Fine. So um, it would be wonderful to see it used in a different way. So if people want to contribute towards the restoration of the church, the lighting in particular, but they want to book the church for an, an event, they simply have to contact the church by the usual yes. means through the directory. They can contact you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. Susan, thanks for all that you're doing in the community. And I just think it's terrific that you've opened up the church to the wider community, which is brilliant. And this is the statue of St. Anselm, Anselm himself. This was actually um, built by the um, uncle of a man that worshipped here as a boy and served as an altar boy right through to a ma um, uh, manhood and he is now ordained and has his own church, um, St Mary Alder Mary in the city. That's a beautiful John, place of work. Um, mother song was actually dedicated to the memory of his mother. It's an absolutely beautiful statue but actually this is a beautiful church in its own yeah. right isn't it? Yes. And there's, I think it's one of the gems of Hayes, right at the heart of Hayes itself. The ceiling was actually painted by a man called MacDonald Hill, and I'm actually in um, contact with his great niece, who's actually writing a book about his um, life and work. It's a significant piece of local history, but it stands in its own right as a beautiful building itself, doesn't it? It's a shame we're being subject to so much vandalism and misuse on the outside at the moment. So what we need to do is make sure there's much more use of the church itself yes. and more activity in the yes. town centre that can prevent that. Brilliant, brilliant. I just think it's a beautiful church and ceremonies like tonight brings the whole community together. Well done.